Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to present my physics uh, final project about Newton's law. First, uh, here's the big question. Why do Virginia leaders adapt? And the focus question, how can human analyze a uh, transformation based on physics concept and laws in day-to-day -day life activities? And this is the outcome uh, handed out by the teachers to the students. So uh, this is one of the examples of Newton's first law, which basically states that every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by action of an external force. Or in short, uh, it will not move uh, if nothing is moving it. Uh, however, in this picture, there, there is a force that is affecting me known as gravity. Uh, other than uh, gravity affecting me, it also affects the chair below me. So if uh, the chair would move in any way, I'd, I'd be moved too. So Newton's second law states that when a constant force acts on a massive body, it causes it to accelerate. Uh, like in the picture, there is a force that is moving me towards the left side of the screen. However, due to force equals mass times acceleration, the, acceler the acceleration is very very small. For example, if the force is 1 Newton and my mass is 80 kilograms, my acceleration would be 0, 0.0 something uh, be because the force is divided by my mass. Following the second Newton law, the third uh, law states that for every action in nature, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, for example, in the picture, uh, you can see a man is uh, pushing the cart. According to Newton's third law, when the man is pushing the cart, the cart also pushes back on the man. Sometimes you don't feel it, but let's say uh, the cart is full. By then, uh, you will feel like uh, when you push it, it pushes back on you. Uh, so next is the uh, law of co uh, energy conservation. So basically the potential energy, kinetic energy, and mechanical energy. Uh, in this example that I created, uh, there are four points of uh, my journey. The four points uh, are different in height from 3 meters uh, in point A to 0 meters uh, on point D. Uh, my estimated mass at the time was around 60 kilograms, so yeah, we're going to use 60 kilograms uh, in the calculation. So let's do the calculation from the beginning. Because uh, point A is the highest point or in the maximum height, uh, it has a velocity of zero because it can't go any higher. Uh, after calculating the, poten the potential energy uh, by using uh, mass times height times gravity, uh, the gravity can be uh, 9.8. Uh, meter per second square or run it, round it up uh, to 10 meter per second square uh, so to make the calculation easier uh, I decided to use the 10 uh, meter per second square um, meanwhile the kinetic energy uh, the kinetic uh, energy formula is half times mass times velocity squared um, since we know that the velocity is zero because uh, in point A we are in the highest point uh, so after the calculation that I did uh, in the picture, uh, the potential energy is uh, 1,800 uh, joule and the kinetic energy is uh, 0 joule. Uh, by using uh, the formula for uh, mechanical energy, which uh, basically means uh, mechanical energy uh, equals to potential energy plus kinetic energy, the mechanical energy uh, is equal to 1,800 added by 0 which means uh, it is 1,800 Joule. Uh, but due to the energy of uh, law, uh, the, the law of energy conservation, uh, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, the mechanical energy for all points uh, from A to D uh, is the same, but the proportion, the proportion between the kinetic and the potential energy can uh, differ. Uh, for example, in point A, the potential energy is 1,800, and the uh, kinetic energy is zero, but in point B, uh, the the potential energy is one thousand two hundred, and the kinetic energy is six hundred joules. Uh, even though the proportions are different, the this, the result of the mechanical energy would stay the same. In uh, in this case, uh, it's uh, total to one thousand eight hundred. Um, because uh, m e equals uh, p e plus uh, k e. Uh, we can use this uh, to our advantage to find the velocity in each other points. Uh, for example, in point B, we can use uh, 1,800 uh, from the mechanical energy and uh, uh, 1,200 from the potential energy uh, by using uh, the mass times height times uh, gravity formula. 
we now know uh, that the kinetic energy is uh, 600. Uh, by doing some calculations, we are able to find the velocity, like uh, in the picture. Um, this can be used uh, in point B to point D because by that point we already know the mechanical energy from point A by substituting the velocity uh, with zero. Uh, and so uh, this is the table with all the information that I have uh, stated before. Uh, again, the mechanical energy uh, for all is the same due to the law of uh, energy conservation. Uh, the conclusion uh, of this is that, uh, just like in Newton's law, a force can affect stuff in many ways. Uh, this is also the case to be a visionary leader. Uh, a lot of unknown factors uh, could come to the leaders itself, and that is why the leader has to uh, be able to adapt based on those uh, unknown factors. Other than that, uh, humans also often analyze transformations randomly. To understand the transformation that is happening, we need a basic understanding of the stuff that is happening around us. Uh, with the basic of uh, understanding of Newton's law, we can use this. In, we can use the information to help us understand more about the changes and transformations that are happening daily.